to talk coffee. John, come say hello. We're going to talk coffee. Hi there. <laughs> coffee. Co coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we're talking coffee is because John has fixed our old faithful over here, our Hamilton Beach. And uh, I did promise that I would talk about and compare and talk about why I like the Hamilton Beach. And, you know, there are lots of things I, I like about the, uh, the Ninja as well. But uh, just doing sort of a side-by-side -side comparison of features. And then you could decide which one, you know, it better suits your needs. So if we start with just the flexibility of how much coffee you can make... Um, they're, they're both flexible, but in very different ways. So if you look at what I like to call, um, and what we usually call on cars is sort of like the, the idiot light panel. The Ninja's got an idiot light panel to it where you can choose, I want a small cup of coffee. I want a large cup of coffee. I want a travel size cup of coffee. I want an extra large travel size cup of coffee. I want a half a pot. I want a full pot. And it makes it very simple for you because you're going to turn this knob and you're going to choose what you want and then you're going to follow pretty much the instructions that are on the water uh, container panel over here that says fill it up to here, fill it up to here, here, here. Okay, so you can't go wrong with a cup of coffee if you're choosing, you know, from the panel and then you're following the grid line. But, I mean, it... it it's, it's not difficult to do the same thing here. If you want, you know, a cup of coffee, you can just measure a cup, you could put it in. If you want four cups of coffee, you measure the water up to the four line, you put it in. If you want a half a pot, you're gonna measure it up to the six line, you're gonna put it in. And, and, and there's your coffee. So for me, I would usually have about maybe a half, a half a mug and then if you've seen my other videos, you know that I like to make it sort of cappuccino style and I've got my own little frother on the side. So I would choose the cup size and I would put it on the stand like so. I would choose the cup size. I would choose up to the water line, but then with the other idiot lights that are here, so you can make it classic, which means it's gonna use all the water. Um, you can choose rich, which means it's going to, I think, evaporate some of that water, use less of the water and make it a stronger cup of coffee. You could have it over ice. You could make it espresso style. There's a specialty button down here. So you can do that. There's all sorts of things that you can do. But for me, and I had to experiment with this is I put the water up to the mug line, the first mug line, I would have to choose rich in order for me to get the amount of coffee at the flavor and strength that I liked into this mug. And it took a lot of, you know, trial and error to, to get there, but I finally figured it out. Whereas I didn't have to do all of that thinking when it came to this one. All I really had to do, and I didn't use this side, I just put my mug in here. I put the amount of water I wanted from my mug in here. I put my coffee grinds in here and I hit go and that was it. So a lot simpler in my opinion to get the amount of coffee at the richness that I desired out of this one. Whereas this one, because it does all the thinking for you, it kind of locks you into options where now you needed to kind of play around a little bit to get it maybe to where you wanted it to be. But let's talk a little bit more about, you know, just the single serve option. So the single serve option, this is just a cool feature. It's plastic, let's face it. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it allows you to have a mug or a travel size um, mug all the way up to as, you know, extra large. Whereas this one, you know, your mug fits in here fine. Your, tr you know, your average travel mug fits in here fine. If you have a large travel mug, you may have to remove this and you may actually have to remove this to fit it in, then put your coffee back in and, and you know, this wouldn't come back until you were done filling your mug, but that's how you would deal with it. But your extra, extra large mug, whereas this one could fit under here, doesn't fit under here. So. If that's the case, you make it in the pot 
and then you pour your pot of coffee into your extra extra large mug and and it's done so to me that wasn't such a negative um, aspect of it but let's talk a little bit oh you know let, when we talk over engineered let's talk a little bit about over engineered so the cute thing is which I never use is that this coffee maker came with its own scoop which you can press back in except I don't trust how well it stays back in so I leave the tape here that came with the box and then it also has its own little frother which I also don't use because I I just don't use it I have I already had a frother so I can't really comment on how well and that functions but it came with those if that matters to you um, but let's talk about coffee grinds and where they go. So no matter if you're doing a single mug or you're doing a whole pot of coffee, everything is going in here. There's two pieces to it. It gives you a full size um, reusable cone. So I like that. You don't have to go out to buy um, those paper filters. And then this is supposed to click into place. It's never clicked into place since I bought it. It's not an issue really, but something to keep in mind. Whereas in this one, your single serve is gonna go in here. And again, mm. it comes with a reusable filter. Anything more than a single serve, you're going to make in here. You are going to use paper filters. I chose to buy, so this I bought separately from Amazon, this reusable filter, but keep in mind it's not big enough to use if you're gonna do a whole pot that's not gonna work. You're still gonna have to use a, a paper filter. This is good all the way up to a half a pot. We rarely make full pots of coffee here, so it has not been an issue for us. And if we have people over and we make a big pot, we'll either do it twice or I'll go and I'll buy paper filters and I'll have them on hand. Uh, the simplicity is again here, depending on what you have chosen in terms of your knobs from going a single serve to a full pot all the water is going to go in this reservoir it kind of points to you and tells you exactly how much water you need for each one of these positions but again if you want somewhere in between you cannot put water in between any of these positions it's going to tell you it needs more water or it's going to tell you there's too much water that drove me bananas um, in terms of water for the Hamilton Beach, the single serve, your water is gonna go in here. And for the pot, your water is gonna go in here. What else can I tell you about this machine? I would say in terms of cleaning the machine, and this was John's pet peeve. As you can see, the Hamilton Beach, if I open this up, very easy for John to get his hands in there to clean. If we look at the Ninja Pot and we open this up, not possible. He's got bare hands. But for me, not a problem. So I can wash it because I've got little, little hands and limp wrists. I mean, a lot of it may not be an issue for anybody, but it's something to just be aware of. I mean, if you know you wash everything in your dishwasher, that's not an issue. But if you hand wash like we do, um, you're going to either have to get one of those uh, wands, right? Those brushes, or you got to get somebody like me with small hands to wash it. But again, it, it, it really depends. They both make excellent cups of coffee. This one, again. You know, if you're gonna stick to what's on the panel over here, you can't go wrong. You're gonna get a good cup of coffee, but if you wanna stray, you're gonna to have to fiddle around with a lot of trial and error to figure out what combination of um, cup you're gonna choose here and button for classic, rich, and specialty you're gonna choose here to to get your desired amount at your desired um, robustness of the coffee. So for me, I'm simple. We're simple, we don't look for anything fancy. This suits our needs, which is why this is going back to our primary model. 
and this is going to be our backup model. What do you think, John? Anything? I agree totally. Ah! <laughs> what do they say? Happy wife, happy life? Is that what it is? That's why I keep her happy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We hope you found this helpful, right? Um, you know, let us know what you think. We, we're just hoping that if you're shopping for another coffee maker and you're on, you know, online like we are and you're reading all these reviews, I mean, I chose this because I read all these reviews. This was a game changer, a lifesaver. It was unbelievable. You'll never need another coffee maker again. It does everything. It does everything, yes. It's got a lot of programming features, whereas this one's much more simple. It's You can have bold, you can have regular, and you can start it, you know, you can have it start at a certain time of day, whereas this one gives you a little bit more bells and whistles. So it really depends on what you need. Basic does a great job um you know a little bit more features a little bit more functionality but something you got to get used to and something that you may have to work around but also does a great job too so let us know what you think let us know if this was helpful thanks yes please leave us comments we'd like to hear your views on uh, your coffee makers also okay